Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you to two Goodwills in the Minneapolis area and I will also show you my thrift haul. Here we go. Hello. Um, so it's two days later. So our last stop was on Friday, but then we had Hannah's Sweet 16. So now it's Sunday and we are waiting upon the goodwill to open we're at it one we've never been to it's it's two stories two stories yeah. in richfield so maddie was here the other day and she was like you gotta go to the richfield one i'm really like, okay so but on the map it says minneapolis so for yeah. anyone local it's what is this, the address we're on nicollet avenue yeah i've been to the one in, um the other one there's in one richfield which i guess their street address like is bloomington, bloomington. Yeah. that one is one of my favorite ones and i've definitely taken you in there before. we'll be going there next but um we just i just never have been to the one. There's a lot of goodwills in the city. I wonder if it's new. Maybe it is. It looks pretty new. It looks pretty new. And pretty two snazzy. stories. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So anyway, we'll turn the camera around and show you the building and then we'll show you inside. There it is. There it is. Two stories. Super fun. Across the street from Grey Duck. I don't know what that is. There's also a coffee shop we want to try called Wild Grind. So they've definitely been doing some developing in this part of the city. So down here is all women's clothing. Upstairs is the other stuff. All right, I'm gonna oh, go upstairs. No. Oh, okay. Oh, she's bringing carts upstairs. Oh, yeah. so we can get a cart upstairs yeah. for hard goods. Molly's gonna shop the clothing. I'll shop down here and then maybe I'll come up and meet you up. All right. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. I usually upload a few times a week. One of the first things I saw that was interesting was this old rolling pin. It had metal pegs at the end of the handles, which was kind of different. I thought that was cool. I loved this vintage cake cozy. It did not have anything to keep it closed, so I'm guessing it wasn't for carrying a cake to a friend's house it was i guess just for sitting on a counter but i thought it was really cute they were asking 4.99 and under the cake cozy was like maybe somewhere you could put cookies or something i don't really know i was just taking a guess at what this might have been for back in the day I do love brown transferware, but I wasn't sure about the ship on this dish pattern. I have been looking for some blue and white plates to work into my decor. And I thought these were really pretty. There was a stack of them. You can't even tell on the camera, but they actually were differently colored from one plate to the next. Like some were much more navy and then others were much more blue. I try to show you that here, but you really can't tell in the camera. Are you kidding me? That's my Gibson plate. <laughs> that is too funny. Are there others? I said as soon as I stopped looking for them, I was gonna find a bunch. There's three, that is a hoot and a half. Well, I haven't gotten rid of them yet. Unbelievable. I loved these gray and white plates. They were definitely vintage. I have never seen this pattern. I just thought it was really cool with the gray plate. It's just really pretty. 
Here was some Syracuse china sitting on the shelf in the mug area. I thought this was a really pretty bowl. I don't collect things like this and I don't really buy bowls and dishes for my antique booth. They just don't sell for me and they kind of take up a bit of space, but I did think it was pretty. I do have a weakness for vintage shakers. I thought this one was really cute. It's kind of similar to something I have, although the colors in the flowers are different. If I were an online seller, I would have picked these up. They definitely have a market on eBay, but I'm not an online seller. And again, bowls and stuff don't really sell for me at my shop. So left those behind. I almost bought this teak bowl, but you can't tell from the camera the inside was the like the finish on it was messed up. So, and I wasn't sure if someone would be able to still use it or if they just have to use it for decor. So this was an enormous tray. You can't even tell from here, but it was huge, huge, huge. I liked this. I thought it was a teapot, but it turns out it was just like a piece of ceramic decor made to look like a teapot. There were four of these old chairs. I thought they were fantastic. If I had anywhere to put them, I would have grabbed them. They were under $5 a piece, which was a really good price, but I really had nowhere to put them. I know people buy vintage prints all the time for their home decor, and I always love the way that it looks, but then when I see it in person, like I never actually want to buy it for my own home. But I did think this was a cool one. I loved this old caned rocker. I did try it out, it was quite comfortable, but again, I don't really have a place for it and it's too big for me to fit in my shop. Okay, now we're in Bloomington. What did you think of the one that we found in I Richfield, Minneapolis? I loved that one. The prices were very low. Got a Life is Good t-shirt for $2, so that was good. That's yeah. her favorite brand they, if that you're is, new to my channel. Yes, I like collect Life is Good shirts, essentially, because they're my favorite. And like they last forever, so when you get them at Goodwill, they're still in really good shape. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I got one of those for $2, which is good. And now we are going to go into the Bloomington Goodwill. I've definitely brought you to this one before. We think the Richfield one must be new because it's like six yeah. minutes down the road and from this we're one. like how would we yeah have been to this one and not that one so that one must be newer yeah. because sometime during covid maybe it was right or right because we have come to this one multiple yeah, times we definitely have so anyway we'll take you in here and show you what we get also uh real quick i wanted to show you molly's new purse which she found at the bins isn't it cute this flower thing is like coming off a little it's older it's but like felted or yeah something. it's really, really cute. cute it's like stretchy love it love it and she probably paid a quarter for that because it was the bin, about, so yeah. yeah. I don't know why it is, but this Goodwill never has a ton of furniture, so there's not as much footage from this one. They have some interesting collectibles, but their prices are definitely higher than the other Goodwill that we had gone to on this day. Their prices went up about a year ago. This one used to have really good prices, and then they raised everything about a year ago. I thought this was cool. It's like a salt cellar. 
that sits on the countertop. At first I thought it was a honey pot, but it wasn't. It was for salt or spices. I also have a thing for picnic baskets. This one was really neat. They had $9.99 on it. These were cute tin plates with vintage recipes on them. They had $3.99 a piece. That's more than I would ask at my booth in the vintage shop. Ridiculous Goodwill. I really liked this piece of milk glass. For my own personal collections, I only pick up hobnail pieces, but I was thinking about this for the shop but they had $6.99 on it, which was really high for a resale piece. Does anyone know what these pieces would have been used to serve? Are they just glasses or would they be used for something else? I was trying to figure it out. Hello. Um, so I'm a little busy after we get home. I have some plans. So I'm going to show you what I got right a now. A car haul. A little car haul. Got these Lee jeans, supposedly like high waisted, kind of open straight leg, pretty pumped. Then these are from this second Goodwill, the Bloomington Goodwill. Got these Sonoma highways to jeans. Really excited about these. Really hoping they all fit. If not, I'll just return them and get like the Goodwill credit and then I can get something else. Then I also Ooh, got these are cute. These. Really excited. I don't know that these are gonna They're fit like too, pedal pushers or something. Yeah, but they're like capris they're open, so pretty excited. That's what the pedal pushers are, are just capris. So tiny. And then from this goodwill, I also got this little pink cropped Nike t-shirt. Nice. Looks like cute. it's in really good shape. Then at the first goodwill we went to, I got this shirt that says this whole week has been Monday. I feel really. like that sometimes. It's got a little frog on it. I like big t-shirts like this that are kind of like comedic. I think they're cute. Plus I like the color. Then my favorite purchase, this Life is Good shirt. That's the one you were telling us about. Like, so these prices are significantly we, lower. Which is weird because it's five minutes away, which right. is why I think it's new. Okay. Because at first you got to have your prices low, get people, to get people in. Stuff. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go back there. Yeah. So I'm going to go back there. Maybe the price will be higher, but... I'm not complaining. So this is the one prices. that was on Nick. One ninety nine, and I got it for probably like a dollar fifty because I had twenty percent off. So. Amazing. Then found this. Uh, I don't know if you know the brand Natural Life, very expensive brand, but really like sustainable brand too. I'll give you a second to look at it. There you go. All right. And I'm thinking, you know, I love the summertime, but like don't need it for that long. I'm right. getting into fall. So Our I summers mostly, are very short yeah, here in Minnesota. So it's weird that I'm buying like sweatshirts and stuff, but even in the summer, I get cold yeah. in the AC. Yeah. This one I love. That's this is cute. This Target athletic brand. So okay. That's what this little like nice. logo means. So yeah, most of these were, they were all under eight. This was $6.99. This was $6.99. T-shirts were like two and three dollars. So for local people of the two, yes. we're recommending for clothing, for clothing the new two-story one on Nicollet Avenue. Field, but it's like Minneapolis. It's yeah, called, it's they call really... it the Minneapolis Goodwill, which I was like, Shh. right. there's a thousand Goodwills in Minneapolis. But And then the last thing I got from that store was something that's a little different for me, but I think it'll be cute. This little like cropped collared shirt where yeah, a pair cute. of high waisted, even with these shorts, it'd be cute, right? So, yeah, that's my haul. Very In total, cute. at the first store, I spent $16.75 for all this stuff. Which, so you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five things, and then at this store, I spent 20 and I got four things. And so, there's a little preview of one of my items. Of the haul. I couldn't see? leave the picnic basket behind. All right, and I will uh do a little haul when I get home. Yeah. Hello you all, I hope you're doing well and I hope it was fun coming along with Molly and I to those two other Goodwills. Remember this was the weekend where we had 20% we had off of all of our purchases as VIPs and so we went to three Goodwills. 
If you haven't seen my other video, there's one here. It was part of the Thrift Shop Hop. That was a collab I hosted last week where a bunch of us thrifting people got together, filmed Thrift With Me's and Thrift Hauls, and we all put them together on a playlist. That's not true. It's not a playlist. They link to each other's videos. That's what I meant to say. I usually do make a playlist after the fact. I haven't done that yet, though. Anyway, so it's very hot here in Minneapolis. Um, my hair is damp. Um, sometimes people comment about that. You know, I try to dry it, but it's hot. It's like 90 degrees, so I'm not going to try too hard. It's very humid, and it's kind of getting frizzy. That's just the way of it. So I'm sitting here on my porch. If you're new to my channel, a lot of times in the summer, I will do my thrift hauls on the porch just because it's fun. Okay, so... The first store was the Two Level Goodwill. It's on Nicollet for anyone who's from the area. I do like it. They didn't have a ton of homewares. You might have seen on the shelves were, had some emptiness to them. There was a ton of women's clothing though. So if you're into women's clothing, very good location to try for that. I'll probably go back again, maybe in a month or so, just to see if they like stock up more or whatever. And their prices were decent. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got at the two Goodwill stores. I have not divided it between store because I kind of want to present it in a way that makes sense. That's more important than showing you I got this at this store and this at this store. So uh, just know that these items came from both Goodwill stores and at both Goodwill stores, I had 20% off. So the first things I wanna show you, you may have heard me mention in the Thrift With Me portion of the video, I'm trying to incorporate some blue and white pottery into my decor. The reason for that is that I love to collect Polish pottery. And it's something that's a little hard to find out here in Minnesota, but back in New Jersey is when I started collecting it. I've only ever had a few pieces. I love it, but most of it has blues, like deep blues in the glaze. And then it's usually on like an ivory background, which has never bothered me, even though I don't have a lot of blue in my current decor. I used to have a ton of blue in my decor. And so I'm like, you know what? I miss my blues and I, blue and white would go really well with my Polish pottery. So I thought I will insert a picture of my hutch here. You can see I have my Polish pottery pieces displayed on top of my hutch. With that displayed on the top of my hutch, I thought it might be nice to work some blue and white into the display behind the glass doors. So I'm gonna try it out and if I don't like it, I can always redonate the pieces back because I'm just thrifting them, but I'm not collecting any blue and white. I just, I really wanna feel inspired by the pieces that I pick up because there is a lot of blue and white out in the world. It's very popular, very common. So I really wanna feel inspired by the particular blue on the plate or the piece of pottery. So I'm just seeing, I'm just getting pieces that I really like, not just picking up anything that I find. So with that in mind, I'm gonna show you some of the blue and white that I got on this trip for this purpose. So the first things I got are these two plates. They are from the same line. They are called Liberty Blue, uh, original cover, historical, colonial, I don't know, Independence Hall, made in, they are made in England. And the pictures is of Independence Hall, which I don't know. Is that in Philadelphia, maybe? I don't really know. But anyway, I thought these were lovely. And even within these, you can see one of them. This one is a brighter blue than this. And I, that just happened with the, the transfer methods that they used to use. So I just thought they were really pretty. I was only going to get this one because this is the one that I really love, that like kind of like brighter blue. But I thought, ah, I might want the second one and I don't want to regret it, you know. So if I don't use it, that's fine. And they were $1.99 a piece with the 20% off. This one does have a chip, but that's fine. I'm not using them to eat. I'm just going to be decorating in my hutch with them. So I got those two pieces along the same lines and for the same purpose. I got this, which is actually probably worth some money. It's Blue Danube which I have sold plates that are this pattern on eBay for quite a bit of money. Uh, but this is just going into my collection for now. And I just thought it was really pretty. It's like a, like a footed compote, maybe. I don't think it's a sugar bowl. It could be a sugar bowl. I don't really know. It's kind of large for a sugar bowl, but I thought it was gorgeous. And I like that you can see, like just with it sitting on a shelf, you can see all the blue pattern, you know, cause with a, like a bowl, you have to prop it. This is nice that you can actually see it. And I really like the handles. So I thought that was really pretty. And I paid $3.99 with 20% off. And then the last piece for the blue and white uh, situation on this trip 
was this plate, which was $2.99, which was a little high. There were several of these, but that this is where I mentioned it in the video. Some of the blues are not as bright as this one. So I just really liked the way this one pops. And the camera is not even really picking it up because it's, I'm kind of in shade here. But if you see it in real life, it's really bright and pretty. So that will also go into my new blue and white display. And I think fall is a nice time to try it because I decorate with traditional fall colors with a lot of like rusts and orange. And on the color wheel, uh, blue and orange are opposite. So they actually complement each other really well. So I thought, well, now is a great time to try blue and white because I'm gonna bring oranges in. And then if I like it, you know, like obviously Christmas, everything goes away and everything just becomes Christmas. But then like I use pinks in my January decor and then I, you know, bring out like greens and then strawberries and all of those things will go with darker blues. So, oh, I have a sneeze, hold on. Sorry, my allergies are terrible terrible and we've been getting um, smoke from the uh, Canadian wildfires down where we are so that's been a problem so my asthma and my allergies have just kind of been a mess lately anyway so those are my blue and white pieces so moving on to what else I got I mentioned in my yard sale video which I can link here I got a tip from a friend she said that for reselling purposes, gravy boats sell really well in the fall and into the holidays because people are having, they're hosting Thanksgiving, they're hosting Christmas dinner, and people need extra gravy boats. So if I find them cheap, I've been picking them up. So I got two gravy boats. This one was $1.99. This one was $2.99. I think this one's really pretty with the black and white pattern. And oh, you can't even see it because it's on the other side. There's a bird. So if I don't sell this, I will not be sad uh, to have it. Imagine if that was blue and white, that would be gorgeous. <laughs> but you know, I love black and white pottery. So I won't be sad to keep this if it doesn't sell, but I think it probably will. And you sell them, she said she sells them for like between eight and $12. And people just pick them up at the pink elephant. So that's what these are gonna be for. And then this one is not marked. So this one is marked, it says 2225th. So it's just modern, it's a modern piece. This one is vintage, it's not marked, but you can just kind of tell by the pottery. Really pretty, kind of an interesting shape. It probably had an underplate, which I don't have, but I don't think that's going to matter. I think I will just try it as gravy boats in my little booth at the Pink Elephant, which is the antique shop where I sell stuff, and see if I can resell them. And if not, no big deal, it's an experiment, right? Okay, and then also I did get this. And so, you know, I have a little candle snuffer collection going on. Mostly I'm trying to find ones that hang because I like how they look hanging on the wall. I have this little peg thing, which I should show you in a video. I haven't done it yet. But because this is an angel and it's Christmas time, I don't have any Christmassy candle snuffers. And I do have a collection of these little metal angels. I think they're, the ones I have are silver. I'm not sure what this is or silver plated. But I thought she would be really cute set with those because I collect candle snuffers and I also collect angels. So it was a nice little, you know, uh, marriage of the two things that I really like. So, and that was $1.99. Okay, I'll take a sip of coffee. One of my favorite mugs sent to me by a subscriber. Thank you very much. Okay, then... Well, I'll show this to you because you already know I got it. I got the picnic basket. Oh my goodness. I love this picnic basket. I love this like print, this weave print. Um, this one's vintage for sure. It does have some damage. You can see someone repaired the handle at some, at some time, but they did a very good job and it's holding up rather nicely. It feels very sturdy. This one is really cool because I'm gonna sit back a little bit so I can show it to you a little bit better. So you lift the lid, right? And then this is what you see. So there could be things stacked there. And then it has this nice little metal rack. Do you see that? And so you can pull that out and then you have the, the underside. It's very clean. Like I'm like, did anyone ever take a picnic with this? Maybe not, because it's really, really clean. So I love to store stuff in picnic baskets. I do occasionally use my picnic baskets just because it's fun and cute to show up at the park with an actual picnic basket. Um, obviously it's not insulated, so you can't put, you know, things that need to be kept cold, but it is really cute. And when I'm not using them, I like to stack them. I told Chris, Chris, I'm gonna need an entire room just for my picnic basket and thermos collections. No, I am not a minimalist. 
And no, I don't care if that bothers you. <laughs> I like things. And when I get tired of them, I can resell them or redonate. Voila. Okay. And some of the last things, I can't believe this. I knew this was going to happen. So, you know, I gave up collecting the Gibson plates in favor of the Mikasa plates, which are much easier to find. I have found several. If you watch my garage sale haul, I found several the other day. But <laughs> on this trip, I found three Gibson dinner plates. That's tree, tree stuff. Is uh -uh. I'm sitting amidst a bunch of tree stuff that fell down. What can you do? Anyway, so I found three of the Gibson dinner plates. I have not gotten rid of my other dinner plates, so I'm just going to collect both because these are really hard to find. And I can mix and match them on a table. You know, all of my kids are basically grown up. I mean, Gabe is going to college. Hannah is still in high school, but the other two are out in the world. They're going to have partners and, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends that come and have dinner with us. So I'll need a lot of plates in the coming years. So I'm like, well, you know what, for now, I'm just going to collect both if I find them. And this is just much harder to find. And Mikasa, I can find some of the serving pieces a little easier. So, but the two patterns work really well together. So definitely I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep finding them and, you know, and then address it when it becomes an issue and I no longer have space for both sets. So I got three of those and they were $1.99 a piece. Uh oh, oh yeah, go like your socks. Yeah, Pepsi Cola socks. Gabe is headed to work. He waves goodbye. <laughs> Love you, honey. Okay, and the last thing I got, so Jamie, my friend from Border Bananas, I talk about her a lot because we are actually friends in real life. She uh, loves Syracuse China. And also Robin, my other friend in real life, loves Syracuse China as well. I've never thought much of it, to be honest with you. I do like restaurant wear creamers, but other than that, it never like did a lot for me. Not, uh, I don't know, I just didn't find patterns that I thought were super interesting. Well. I don't know if you remember. Oh, Robin loves Buffalo China. So like a week or two ago, I found a black and white piece of Buffalo China, which I thought was so cool, right? So I picked that up, which I've been using because restaurant wear is pretty durable and can be used. And so then at the store the other day, I found these two Syracuse China coffee cups. This one has ink on it because they wrapped it in newspaper, so I have to clean it off. But I just think that's a really cool and different pattern, which I've never really seen ones like this before. So I was like, oh, I'm getting it. I'm understanding more why they love Syracuse China. So I decided when I see Syracuse China that I am inspired by, I'm going to pick it up. And these were just two. So they're, you know, they're not, I really just like that they have that texture on them. I just think they're really cool. And these would be cool in a vignette stacked. You can use them also, but if I just stack them in my hutch, they also look cool. So <clears throat> I picked those up. They were $1.99 a piece. And I decided if I see Syracuse China or Buffalo China uh, in a cool pattern or something that inspires me, I'm going to pick it up just for fun. I do have one other pattern of Syracuse China, which I always forget the name of the pattern. It has like a white flower on it. Ugh, I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to be able to remember, but I'm sure one of you out there knows what I'm talking about. And so I do pick those up. Those are like much more rare. And I, I pick that up when I find it. And so I do have a coffee cup and saucer that I actually use with a little personal creamer that kind of coordinates with them. I use that sometimes just for fun. So anyway, I'm cleaning up and I almost forgot to show you this. So it's just a little knitted uh, kind of poncho type of thing, which I thought would be really cute in my wardrobe for the fall. So this was $6.99 with 20% off. It's got the cozy cowl neck. I think it's going to be really cute and perfect for September here in Minnesota. That's the other thing I got. So that is my haul from those two stores. I hope that was enjoyable for you. So you'll see this video on Monday. I, I'm working on a, a video for a collab on Thursday. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get that one together. And then I will put up another thrifting video probably on Saturday. That's what's happening on this channel. I'm gonna be trying to do more DIY videos on my DIY channel. So if you're not subscribed there, check that out. It's Nicole North Garden DIY. And then my family vlogs always wind up on Nicole North Garden Home and Garden. I know some of you like those. I started those during the pandemic and I didn't wanna let them go because I just I like having the record for our family. It's just kind of 
fun to have logs out there. So anyway, that is what is happening in my world. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.